The day is finally here. Let's go get some heifer's bread. We've been setting up this group of heifers, put cedars in, took cedars out. Um, now we're just waiting. We're doing timed AI with heat patches. If you saw our last video um, where we pulled the cedars, Eric and I had a bet going of when the first heat patch would be changed. We came over here yesterday evening, which was the evening for the bet, to see and- I'm not gonna make a judgment call, but there's some orange showing. <laughs> But I don't see Here we are checking pull. our heifers. <laughs> so we pulled the cedars yesterday morning. And we've got a bet going. I said there'd be a patch change today. We bet a week of lunch on it. Before we go look at them, it has to be fully changed. Right. Hmm. The rules are slowly well, changing. No, 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 no. Let me clarify. So. <laughs> She's got to be able to breed in the morning, right? So it has to be fully changed. So let's go see what we got. One thing we run into, bet aside, is you'll have some partial changes. So the question is always, do you breed them on the next cycle or do you wait? If you wait too long, they're not going to catch. But if you breed them too early, you also run a risk of it not catching. As you can see right here, there were some partial heat patches changed. Nothing was changed all the way. Eric thinks he won the bet. I'm not so sure, we need your help. So in the comments, if you saw the bet, let me know if you think I won the bet or uh, if you think Eric won the bet. I figure we'll settle it that way. So this morning we came back, went through all the heifers, wrote down all the ear tag numbers of what we're gonna breed. We're gonna start getting everything together. We've got our semen tank here. The semen is stored in here. It's in uh, nitrogen. Buckle this bad boy up. We got to keep this thing protected everywhere we go. I'm going to start getting everything together, uh, getting all the supplies out. All the supplies that we're using, I'll link it in the bottom uh, underneath the video. If you go back where you click play um, in the information section, I'll link all of our stuff. So if you have any questions about stuff we use or the products or anything like that i'll have it linked there or just leave us a comment and uh, we'll be glad to answer it there's going to be two possibly three that we're going to breed we're going to look at them closely again so what we look at is that heat patch we put on uh it'll start changing colors as they come into heat the other heifers will start mounting them and riding them and it basically changes that heat patch turns it orange we got our first group in the barn along with a couple extras i think we're going to breed four today which is about right for the first breeding one of them's lost a heat patch but she's in standing heat so we'll go ahead and breed her semen's in our thaw unit 45 seconds on the timer. What do you think? Uh, fall breeding 2020s here. I think it's, uh, they say it's like riding a bicycle. We'll see. I hope this thing's got training for this. So Eric's getting the semen ready now that it's thawed out. He'll get it in his gun. Um, we'll get this heifer in the chute. We'll get this show on the road. First on our list, get in there, girl. Come on. Come on, girl. Go on down the line. Heat patch, this one did its job. Now it goes in the trash. We're gonna double check her number. 
8071. Always right down. So this is what we do. 8071, the date we bred her. This is Tahoe, right? So the semen is off of the Tahoe bull, cleanup bull. We'll fill that in once we put him in. So Eric's got her turned out. Good job. Number one done. Breeding season wheels are off. is underway. Eric bred some heifers like this spring. We went in depth a lot on the process and everything. So if you want to see a lot more of the whole setup process and all that, go check out our how to breed a heifer video. Basically, uh, with his left hand, he goes in to the rear of the cow, finds the cervix. With his right hand, he uses the gun, goes through the vagina and puts the semen in. How big around was her cervix? Uh, it's probably big around as a nickel. And you're trying to insert the tip of that gun yeah, into a the, tiny hole. The opening is about the size of that. And you're trying to, and then it's 100 degrees and it feels basically like your hand in a tight spot. That wraps up our first night of breeding. We bred four, pretty good for our first one. So we'll see how many we got lined up for in the morning. Think, boss. It's early. We are headed to get our chicken house work done. We'll be breeding again this morning. This will be our second round. Had four heat patches that were turned last night after we got done breeding. A little less than what we thought, but still in good shape. So we'll go get those bred and see how many more of term we'll probably have more to breed for this evening I to see a decent amount of activity first morning breeding got everything brought back up So some of them came on in here to eat. This is the rest of them, so. We'll go through, sort them out, see what tags have changed from last night till this morning. And then uh, we'll breed the ones last night that were already changed. So a lot more activity going on this morning with them. What'd you think? That was the best one yet. Why do you say she's in heat? Well, because her cervix is, is uh, I don't know, it's swollen basically. So her cervix was nice, it was rigid. Cervix was probably as big around as your, a little bigger than your thumb and about as long as your thumb. Her rings, I mean, she was just, I guess you would say dilated. She was uh, very easy, that'd be a good learner. And with a heifer with that front side right there, you just, so much more room than with a big frame heifer like that. That was as easy as it gets. We'll write down her tag number when we <laughs> pregnancy test. We'll see if it was easy or not. You ready to get pregnant? Once you get it. In that cervix, you really just want to manipulate the cervix over the gun. And through two rings, usually three, kind of feels like basically like cartilage. When I'm through my second one, I can't really feel the gun tip. There it goes, it's in the third.
four more heifers are bred. We're gonna turn everything back out. We've got our list ready to breed this afternoon. I think, how many do we have for this afternoon breeding? Six? I thought you said seven. But... Seven. So seven. We bred eight, so that makes 15. I imagine they'll be, we'll breed seven this evening. And I'd say for tomorrow morning, they'll probably be about that again, if not more. Y'all see Eric's uh, white faced one out there. What's she doing, Eric? Waiting on the bull. Waiting on the, the bull. Waiting on the bull. Two words for waiting on the bull are low fertility. We're right at about halfway through with our breeding. We'll breed again tonight and in the morning. That may or may not be it. We may breed one more time, depending on what comes into heat. But uh, the next video, we'll finish up our breeding and get the cleanup bull turned in. It's a new bull that we just got. We haven't seen any calves off him yet, but we're pretty excited about him. He's supposed to be a good heifer bull. So we'll be turning him in. And then uh, later on, we'll get the pregnancy test all these, see how Eric did. Thanks for watching our video and we will see you next time.